cannot see silence anywhere nearby. Maybe a potion provided by Hilda could help you to lure her out for a t After a moment, a white swan swoops low from the sky and lands in front of you. As soon as its legs touch the ground, it morphs into a human. What's that? Oh no, it's you. Set me free. I warn you, I'm dangerous. Oh, him. <laughs> yes, I sometimes miss our meetings. He was a fun boy indeed. And naive too. Why would anyone declare love to a creature they don't understand? That doesn't even speak. He is so stupid. All of you kind are. I thought he ran away because he finally realized that I fed on him. But then I found out he was accused of treason. Tell me, did he ever learn that it was the other guy who set him up? So he never realized that the other blacksmith sabotaged his own army? He wasn't a fun boy. He wasn't as gentle as Wayland. <sighs> but at least I had a good laugh watching their mighty swords breaking like sticks. They were dying, <laughs> crushed by their own breastplates. Now you tell me my poor, naive Wayland was found and he still misses me? <laughs> well, too bad for him. I don't need him anymore. Farewell, stranger. I don't think we'll ever meet again. Maybe someday I'll tell you more in exchange for a precious bite of you. For now, I'm full. And I don't need you. Be gone, stranger. What am I doing here? Even though she doesn't punch...
The blades of this lone windmill creak and groan as you approach. It's as if they're trying to warn you. Apologies, but I can't let you in. The man looks at you with an unamused expression. You weren't invited. Besides, the ceremony is in progress, so there's not much to be done about it. I'm afraid I'm not in a position to tell you. The way it works is that you need to receive a written invitation from someone who's already a member of the group. a weird ethereal being it exists in the material realm yet leaves a fleeting otherworldly her eyes twinkle and glow with a unique emerald shade she's not a witch that's for sure but you're not exactly certain she's human she seems to be composed of wood moss and starlight but the warmth she evokes in you is soon frozen by the realization that she sits in a writhing snake's neck. Oh my, oh my, look who we have here, my darlings. Another lost soul. She stares as more snakes slither from the woods. Tell me, what is it you want, traveler? We can do things for you. If you simply promise to leave our nest in peace. Take it then and move along.
you found what was protected. When you filled your pockets up, Crystals were already here when the first men landed on the island. Hello again, stranger.
go to see you. Can I ask you a question? I told you about the nature of my crime. And I've been sitting here for years. Cursed to stare at this fire for all eternity. All I do is wonder. How long can, or should, my punishment last? Judging by the way he looks and by the thickness of the roots linking his body to the fire, he must have been here for a long, long time. Then, hopefully, I've already felt all the pain I needed to. To be honest, at this point, I don't even care if I live or die. All I want is to finally move my limbs. One last time. He looks at you as if he suddenly remembered something. Did you have any luck with that sample you took by any chance? Did your friends find any way to help me? You explain what you learned. The man looks at you with a puzzled stare. But, I mean, I suppose it makes sense. The flame burns brighter. I've had all the time in the world to think about what I did in the past. But what you said, what you did for me, it made me realize. I did the best I could at the time. You see blue veins crushing under his feet when he tries to move. Yes. I'll forgive myself. You see blue veins crushing under his feet when he tries to move. He struggles. His movements are slow. I forgive myself. He stands up in front of you, free from the fire. He looks at you with gratitude in his eyes. Thank you. Suddenly, his body starts disintegrating into a cloud of smoke and eventually into dust. All that's left here is the fire. So his final wish was to die? At least he has found peace at last. You sit alone by the flickering flames. You sense that the fire is somehow... different.
You find a chest with strange markings across its entire... You feel a sharp sting, and then your head becomes dizzy. After a while, you can't recall precisely what happened. For people who might make a good addition, like you see, I'm getting very hungry this far from my bro. The knight looks at you impatiently. I gave you a reward. You can go.
feels like an echo of something that happened before. What can I do for them? Trinkets. The blacksmith is So, how was it? Did it work? Wait, we should call Hildy over. She wanted to know too. Before he has a chance to move, you notice that Hilda's standing right there with you. Oh, hi. I was just passing by. So, tell us the good news. Did it work? Wayland looks both concerned and filled with hope. She... what? This cannot be. You explained that she must have been some kind of a weird spawn. Yes, she was conscious and sane. My silence? A weird spawn? I cannot believe it. A weird spawn? I've been in love with a weird spawn? Hilda takes out a vial containing a green potion and flings it at the blacksmith. As the vial cracks, a shimmering smoke emerges. The man instantly passes out and falls to the floor. Nothing to be done now. We just need to wait. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. back already you tell him about the man you encountered during your travels in the weirdness you mention that he's collecting stones to build his kingdom while still wearing the coat of arms. how is it possible that so many good people die but the scum always survive I'm pretty sure that the man you met isn't actually a man but a true example of a human monster it seems that his mind was twisted beyond recognition. You see, Lord Warwick had a son, and I refused to train him because I saw how he treated the other soldiers. He was a cruel, unapologetic, and vicious brat. He was full of delusions of grandeur. He imagined himself as the Lord Commander of Arthur's armies and whatnot. He kept saying that he'd rule over his father's kingdom, or he'd burn it to the ground and create a new one. Seeing as how everything around us has gone to hell, it will be messy. But I'd really like to see... 